All praise is due to Allah, creator of the heavens and the earth, who made the angels messengers having wings, two or three or four. He increases in creation what he wills. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله فاطر السماوات والأرض جاعل الملائكة رسلا أولي أجنحة مصنع وصلاص ورباع يزيد في الخلق ما يشاء إن الله على كل شيء قدير All praise belongs to Allah the originator of the heavens and the earth here the word is Fatir, not Khalik. There are two levels of creation. One creation which we call in modern philosophy, ex nihilo, out of nothingness, to create something out of absolutely nothingness. And the second is to create something from something which is already present. Creating man from the clay. The clay was there. Man was created from clay. To create, create jinns from the fire. Fire was already there. But that creation ex nihilo, creation from nothingness, is, is ibda badiyo samawati wallaut. And the other word is fatr. Fatr is samawati wallaut. He is the creator or originator of the heavens and the earth. Jailul malaika, jailil malaika te rusulan. The appointer of the angels as messengers. We have read it in Surah Al-Hajj. Allahu yastafi min al-malaikati rusulam wa min al-nas. This chain of messengerhood consists of two links. First, an angel who gets the message from Allah and conveys it to a human angel, a human messenger. That was in our case Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Jibreel, messenger number one from among the malaika, from among the angels. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, messenger number two, from among the human beings. The angels having two or three or four wings. Now this is from Ayatul Mutashabihat. We can't understand what it means, what type of wings they have. Yazidu fil khalq ma yasha. And Allah increases in creation whomsoever He likes. Inna Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. Verily Allah is powerful, or everything. ما يفتح الله للناس من رحمة فلا ممسك لها وما يمسك فلا مرسل له من بعده وهو العزيز الحكيم Whatever Allah grants to people of mercy none can withhold it and whatever he withholds none can release it thereafter. And he is the exalted in might, the wise. Whatsoever mercy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants to mankind, there is none to withhold it. What is meant here is the institution of prophethood and messengerhood. This institution basically is a mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the prophets came and they led people to the right path, messengers came and they called people to the right way. So it was the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has reached its climax in the person of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is why we call him Rahmatun lil alameen. Wa ma arsalna ka illa rahmatan lil alameen. So now actually the references to those of the unbelievers 
who said, why this nabuwa? What for? It's no use. Allah says, this is a mercy from us. And nobody can stop it. Whatsoever of mercy Allah grants mankind, there is none to withhold it. وَمَا يُمْسِكْ فَلَا مُرْسِلَ And whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala withholds, nobody can grant it. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ He is all-wise, all-powerful. يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ اذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ هل من خالق غير الله يرزقكم من السماء والأرض لا إله إلا هو فأنا تؤفكون O mankind, remember the favor of Allah upon you. Is there any creator other than Allah who provides for you from the heaven and earth? There is no deity except him. So how are you deluded? Ya ayyuhal nasu skuru ni'matullahi alaykum. O mankind, remember Allah's blessings upon you. Hal min khaliqin ghairullahi yarzukukum in as-sama. Just think, is there any other creator except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who can provide you sustenance from the earth and heavens? La ilaha illahu. There's no God except Him. So from where are you being diverted? And if they deny you, O Muhammad, already were messengers denied before you, and to Allah are returned all matters. وَإِنْ يُكَذِّبُوكَ فَقَدْ قُسِبَتْ رُسُلُ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ And O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, if they are belying you, before you also, many messengers were belied by their nations. وَإِلَى اللَّهِ تُرْجَ الْعُمُورِ And finally all the matters return or will be returned to Allah for final decision. يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ إِنَّ وَعْدَ اللَّهِ حَقٌّ فلا تغرنكم الحياة الدنيا فلا تغرنكم الحياة الدنيا ولا يغرنكم بالله الغرور. O mankind, indeed the promise of Allah is truth. So let not the worldly life delude you. And be not deceived about Allah by the deceiver. Ya ya nas inna wada Allahi hakun. O mankind, the promise of your Lord is true. The promise that He will resurrect you, that you will be again created. Fala tahurran na kumul hayat o dunya wala yahurran na kum bilahe darur. These words we had in Surah Luqman also. So let not the Life of this world deceive you. Let not this life of this world be a barrier between you and Akhirah. Use it as a means to earn Akhirah. As I told you, the hadith of the Prophet, Ad-Dunya Mazratul Akhirah. This is the sowing field. Here you sow so that you can reap in the Akhirah. But don't make it that is your beloved and you. Desire only this world, and you get lost in this world. Allah zina walla sa'yuhum fil hayat al dunya, then you are doomed. Walla yaghurun nakum bilahi qarur, and let not that ark deceit Satan. Let deceit you, deceive you, in the name of Allah. I explained it there also that he somehow sometimes says, "Oh, Allah is forgiving." If you are given to, addicted to liquors, drinking liquor, okay, go on, continue. Allah is forgiving. If you are engaged in some forbidden business, okay, go on. Allah is forgiving. He is very merciful. So this is a deceit in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Indeed, Satan is an enemy to you, so take him as an enemy. He only invites his party to be among the companions of the blaze. In the shaitan alakum aduun fattakhiduhu aduwa. Verily, Satan is for you an enemy. So take him, you also, as an enemy of yours. In the mayadu hizbahu. Actually, he is calling his own party. They yakunu min ashabi sa'i so that they become the companions of the blazing fire. الذين كفروا لهم عذاب شديد والذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات لهم مغفرة وأجر كبير. Those who disbelieve will have a severe punishment, and those who believe and do righteous deeds will have forgiveness and great reward. Those who disbelieve, for them is the very great chastisement. As for those who come to believe and they do good deeds, for them is the forgiveness and the great reward. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُضِلُّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ فَلَا تَذْهَبْ نَفْسُكَ عَلَيْهِمْ حَسَرَاتٍ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلِيمٌ بِمَا يَصْنَعُونَ then is one to whom the evil of his deed has been made attractive so he considers it good, like one rightly guided? For indeed, Allah sends astray whom he wills and guides whom he wills. So do not let yourself perish over them in regret. Indeed, Allah is knowing of what they do. <laughs> For whom his bad deeds are made beautiful. He sees them beautiful. He sees that these are very good. For example, the culture. In the name of culture, all type of indecent things going on. Nudity. You know, everything going on in the name of culture. It's culture. So, these things, you know, Satan makes bad things Look beautiful to you. Afa man zuyina lahu su amalihi farao hasana. Fa inna Allah yudillu ma yasha. So Allah leads astray to whom He likes. If someone has taken to this path, okay, Allah says go. Wa yadi ma yasha. And He guides to the right path whomsoever He likes. Fala tazab nafsu ka alayhim hasarat. So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, don't let your soul waste away in grief for them. When they were not listening to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not responding positively to his call, he was grieved. Allah says, لَعَلَّكَ بَعْخِبُ النَّفْسَكَ أَلَّا يَكُونُ مُؤْمِنِينَ In Surah Al-Shura, perhaps you will kill yourself in this grief that they are not believing you. إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلِيمٌ بِمَا يَسْنَعُونَ Verily Allah knows what they are making. وَاللَّهُ الَّذِي أَرْسَلَ الْرِّيَاحَ فَتُثِيرُ سَحَابًا فَسُقْنَاهُ إِلَى بَلَدٍ مَيِّتٍ فَأَحْيَيْنَا بِهِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا كَذَلِكَ النُّشُورِ and it is Allah who sends the winds, and they stir the clouds, and we drive them to a dead land and give life thereby to the earth after its lifelessness. Thus is the resurrection. 
فتصیر و صحابا اینڈ اللہ از ہی ہو سینڈس دی ونس سو دے ریز اے کلاؤڈ فسوک نہ ہو الا بلد ان میت اینڈ دین وی ڈرائیو اٹ ٹو اے لینڈ وچ واز لائنگ ڈیڈ نو سائنس آف لائف واہ یہی نہ بہ الارض بعد موتہا دین وتھ دیٹ واٹر اف رین وی وی برنگ ٹو لائف دیٹ ڈیڈ لینڈ کذالک المشور جسٹ ان دی سیم وے یو ول کم آؤٹ اف دی ارتھ ارتھ واز لائنگ وتھ آؤٹ اینی ویجیٹیشن rain came and now there is greenery vegetation grass and crops and everything in this same way this earth would be lying dead but when the command of allah will come you will come out of it and you will be given the second creation an kana yuridu al izzata fa lillahi al izzatu jami'a ilayhi yas'adu al kalim طيب والعمل الصالح يرفعه والذين يمكرون السيئات لهم عذاب شديد ومكر اولئك هو يبور whoever desires honor through power then to Allah belongs all honor to him ascends good speech and righteous work raises it. But they who plot evil deeds will have a severe punishment, and the plotting of those, it will perish. Man kana yuridu al-izzata, fa lillahi al-izzatu jami'ah. Whosoever wants honor and power in this world, whom we call ambitious people, He should know for Allah in Israel to Jamia, all honor and power is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ilayhi yas'adu al-kalimu tayyibu. Towards him ascend good words, good ideas. Wal'amalu salihu yarfa'uhu. And a righteous deed, it exalts it. It's very important, you know. There's a good idea. I am presenting, but unless I can work hard for it, it won't grow in this world. Howsoever good this idea might be, it won't be accepted by the people. You have to take pains to propagate that idea. Kalimat Tayyib, and now we have the Kalimat Tayyibah. And what is the Kalimat Tayyibah? La ilaha illallah Muhammadu Rasulullah. But now, to establish this Kalima, you have to work hard. جاہدو فی اللہ حقا جہادی ادروائی دی تروت اس دیر لا الہ الا اللہ محمد رسول اللہ اس دی بگس تروت but it is lying on the ground who cares for it majority of the world doesn't care for this kalima also the muslim world is not acting about the according to this kalima so عمل الصالح is needed hard work and a struggle which is conclusive waladina yamkuruna sayyat lahum azab shadid and whosoever is striving and planning for evils for them there will be severe chastisement wa makru ulaika huwa yubur and all the plans of such people are going to perish in the long run although at a certain stage they might to be very effective very awful اللَّهُ خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ تُرَابٍ ثُمَّ مِنْ نُطْفَةٍ ثُمَّ جَعَلَكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَمَا تَحْمِلُ مِنْ أُنْثَى وَلَا تَضَعُ إِلَّا بِعِلْمِهِ وَمَا يُعَمَّرُ مِنْ مُعَمَّرٍ وَلَا يُنْقَصُ مِنْ عُمُرِهِ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ إِنَّ ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ يَسِيرٌ And Allah created you from dust, then from a sperm drop, then He made you mates. And no female conceives, nor does she give birth, except with his knowledge. 
and no aged person is granted additional life, nor is his lifespan lessened, but that it is in a register. Indeed, that for Allah is easy. Wallahu khalaqakum min turabin, and Allah created you out of clay. Summa min nutfatin. Then from the sperm drop. Summa ja'alakum aswaja. Then he made them into pairs, male and female. Wama tahmilu min unsa. Wala tawa'u illa bi'ilbihi. And there is no female, either human or animal, who bears something in her womb and then gives birth to it. But it is in the knowledge of Allah. وَمَا يُعْمَرُ مِنْ مُعْمَرٍ وَلَا يُنْقَسُ مِنْ عُمْرِهِ And no, no one is granted long life, nor anyone is diminished in his life. وَإِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ All these things are already recorded in the book. And what is that book? The book of the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّ ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ يَسِيرٌ Verily this is very easy for Allah. It might seem to you to be very difficult. How is it possible? وما يستوي البحران هذا عذب فرات سائغ شرابه وهذا ملح أجاج ومن كل تأكلون لحما طريا وتستخرجون حلية تلبسونها وترى الفلك فيه مواخر لتبتغوا من فضله ولعلكم تشكرون And not alike are the two bodies of water. One is fresh and sweet, palatable for drinking, and one is salty and bitter. And from each you eat tender meat and extract ornaments which you wear, and you see the ships plowing through them that you might seek of his bounty, and perhaps you will be grateful. Wama yastamil bahran, and the two seas or water currents are not equal. Haza azbun furatun saibun sharabu. This current the water is fresh, sweet, and palatable. Wahaza milhun ujajun. And side by side, another current is flowing. And the water is saltish and bitter. Wamin kullin taakuluna lahman toriya. And from both you eat fresh meat. Fish you get from both. Fish from the bitter water also. But it is not bitter. You are getting fish from the sweet water also. And you are getting fish from the pit, bitter water also. وَمِنْ كُلِّنْ تَاكُلُونَ لَحْمَ طَرِيَّا وَتَسْتَخْرِجُونَ حِلْيَةً تَلْبَسُونَهَا And from both, you take out pearls, which you adorn. وَتَرَ الْفُلْكَ فِيهِمْ أَبَاخِرَةً And you see the ships going on that, just as, as if plowing, you know. The hull of the ship plows, just like the tip of the plow. They tapta'u bin fadlihi so that you can get the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa la alakum tashkuroon or so that you are thankful to Allah. Yuliju al-layla fi al-nahari wa yuliju al-nahara fi al-layli wa sakhara al-shamsa wa al-qamara kullu yajiri li ajalim musamma. ذلكم الله ربكم له الملك والذين تدعون من دونه ما يملكون من قطمين. He causes the night to enter the day, and he causes the day to enter the night, and has subjected the sun and the moon, each running its course for a specified term. That is Allah, your Lord. To him belongs sovereignty, and those whom you invoke other than him do not possess as much as the membrane of a date seed. <laughs> he merges the night into the day. Sometimes the day is shortening and the night is becoming longer and longer. What does it mean? This light is entering into the day. And at other times, it is the reverse process. Yulijun nahara fil 
emerges night into the day into the night. But Sakhara Shamsa Val Kamar and he has subjected the sun and the moon, Kullu Yajrin Li Ajal Musamma, all of them are running in their course for a fixed period of time. Ajalin Musamma. It's not forever. Zalikumullah Rabbuku. He is Allah your Lord who has created all these things, who is controlling all this universe. The whole mulk. To whom belongs this sovereignty? وَالَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونَهِ لَا يَمْلِكُونَ مِن خَتْمِيرِ And as for those whom you are calling upon besides him, they have no authority. Even like the membrane over the date stone. <coughs> you know, in the date, you have a stone, the gutli. And over the gutli, there is a very fine membrane. If sometimes you must have seen. So this is a very small thing. So Allah says that nobody has any authority in this universe even equal to this very small minor membrane of the stone of the date. تَدْعُوهُمْ لَا يَسْمَعُوا دُعَاءَكُمْ وَلَوْ سَمِعُوا مَا اسْتَجَابُوا لَكُمْ وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَكْفُرُونَ بِشِرْكِكُمْ وَلَا يُنَبِّئُكَ مِثْلُ خَبِيرٌ If you invoke them, they do not hear your supplication. And if they heard, they would not respond to you. And on the day of resurrection, they will deny your association. And none can inform you like one acquainted with all matters. In تَدْعُوهُمْ لَا يَسْمَعُوا دُعَاكُمْ If you call them, they are not going to listen to your calls. In تَلْعُوهُمْ لَا يَسْمَعُوا دُعَاكُمْ If you call upon them, they are not going to listen to your prayers. وَلَوْ سَمِعُوا And if they listen, مَسْتَجَعَبُوا لَكُمْ They can't listen or they can't grant your prayers. For example, if you are praying something which has no existence whatsoever, it's a different story. But if you are praying to the Ruh of Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani, or you are praying to Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam, maybe they are listening, but they can't grant your prayers. Maybe. Maybe they have listened. وَإِنْ لَوْ سَمِعُوا مَسْتَجَابُوا لَكُمْ وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةَ يَكْفُرُونَ بِشِرْكِكُمْ And on the day of judgment, they will deny your associating them with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَا يُنَبِّهُكَ مِسْنُ الْخَبِيرُ And nobody will be able to inform you the truth like him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is aware of everything. He is telling you this is going to happen. You will be hoping that certain such people or or angels will intercede on our behalf and they will refuse and they will become enemies to you. Ya ayyuhan nasu antumul fuqara'u ila Allah Wallahu huwa al-ghaniyyul hamid O mankind, you are those in need of Allah while Allah is the free of need, the praiseworthy. Ya ayyuhal nasu wa tumul fuqarao ilallah. Oh mankind, you are the ones that stand in need towards Allah to Allah Ta'ala. You need Him. You need sustenance from Him. Your life is also by His command. Wallahu huwa al-ghaniyu al-hameed. And Allah, He is self-sufficient, praiseworthy. He doesn't need anybody. يَشَأْ يُذْهِبْكُمْ وَيَأْتِ بِخَلْقٍ جَدِيدٍ If he wills, he can do away with you and bring forth a new creation. إِنْ يَشَأْ يُذْهِبْكُمْ وَيَأْتِ بِخَلْقٍ جَدِيدٍ If he so desires, he will take you away, destroy you, and a new creation he will bring in your place. وَمَا ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ بِعَزِيزٍ and that is for Allah, not difficult. And this is not at all hard and difficult for Allah.
وَإِن تَدْعُ مُثْقَلَةٌ إِلَى حِمْلِهَا لَا يُحْمَلْ مِنْهُ شَيْءٌ وَلَوْ كَانَ ذَا قُرْبَى إِنَّمَا تُنْذِرُ الَّذِينَ يَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ بالغيب وأقاموا الصلاة ومن تزكى فإنما يتزكى لنفسه وإلى الله المصير And no bearer of burdens will bear the burden of another And if a heavily laden soul calls another to carry some of its load nothing of it will be carried even if he should be a close relative. You can only warn those who fear their Lord unseen and have established prayer. And whoever purifies himself only purifies himself for the benefit of his soul. And to Allah is the final destination. And no burdened soul will be able to bear some other soul's Burden. And if one, if someone heavily laden soul calls for help, nothing of it shall be carried by anyone. Although they might be their relatives, no father will be able to share the burden of the son. And no son will be able to share the burden of the father. Innama tundurul ladina yahshawna rabbahum il ghayb. O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You can only warn those who keep fearing their Lord in the unseen. Wa qabu salah. And they establish prayer. Wa man tazakka fa innama yi tazakka li nafsi. Whosoever purifies his soul, he is purifying it for the benefit of his own while Allah al masir and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you have all to return وَمَا يَسْتَوِي الْأَعْمَى وَالْبَصِيرِ Not equal are the blind and the seeing وَمَا يَسْتَوِي الْأَعْمَى وَالْبَصِيرِ and the blind and the seeing men are not equal وَلَا الظُّلُمَاتُ وَلَا nor are the darknesses and the light. Nor the darkness and the light are equal. Nor are the shade and the heat. In the same way the shade and the heat they are not equal. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُسْمِعُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَمَا أَنْتَ بِمُسْمِعِ مَنْ فِي الْقُبُورِ And not equal are the living and the dead. Indeed, Allah causes to hear whom he wills, but you cannot make hear those in the graves. وَمَا يَسْتَوِي الْأَعْيَاءُ وَلَا الْأَمْوَادِ in the same way, the dead and the living, they are not equal. Inna la yusmi'u man yasha. Allah makes only such people listen whom he wishes. Wa ma anta bi musmin man fil kubur. And O Muhammad, you cannot make those listen who are in the graves. <coughs> what does it mean? Not actually graves. When the spirit in a man dies, he becomes now a grave, moving grave, walking grave. The spirit is dead in that body, animal body. Now you are animals only. As human beings, you are dead. Abu Jahl was living, but spiritually dead. Living as an animal. Abu Lahab was living, but as an animal. Spiritually he was dead. You, O Muhammad, are not but a warner. In anta illa nazeer, O Muhammad, you are only a warner. Inna 
أرسلناك بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا وإن من أمة إلا خلا فيها نذير. Indeed, we have sent you with the truth as a bringer of good tidings and a warner, and there was no nation but that there had passed within it a warner. And we have sent you with truth, with a very big purpose, as a bearer of the glad tidings and as a warner. And there has been no ummah, no community, no race, no nation, in which no warner has been sent. So actually in the Quran we find the names of only those prophets and messengers who were sent to the Middle East area, not the rest of the world. But as a principle you must know that the prophets and messengers of Allah have come to all the regions of the world. But they are not mentioned in Quran because now the Arabs should have been first taught the geography and history of nations and then they could understand who was Gautam Bodh and who was such and such and who was Confucius and who was... Maybe they were the... Maybe these people. Maybe Socrates. Maybe just Pumpkin. Just possible. Maybe he was a prophet of Allah. Because we can't say as to what is attributed to them today. This is what Buddha told. But we can't rely on it. Maybe it is all false. Because these Christians, what they say about Christ, can we accept it? No. Had we not been given the knowledge by Quran that he was a prophet of Allah, how can we have accepted him as a prophet of Allah? Just as we can't accept Krishna Ji Maharaj as a prophet. By what their people say about them, we can't accept. But might be these things are wrong. Wrong things and wrong teachings are attributed to them. جاءتهم رسلهم بالبينات وبالزبر وبالكتاب المنير. And if they deny you, then already have those before them denied. Their messengers came to them with clear proofs and written ordinances and with the enlightening scripture. Why you can't say Muka Fakat Kazab al Lazina min Kablahim? If they are belying you, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So those people also who were before you, they belied the messengers. Jaathum rasuluhum bil bayyinat. To them their messengers came with clear signs, wabil zubur, and with books, wabil kitab il murir, and the illuminating book containing a code, a law, a sharia. Thumma akhazdu al-lazina kafaru fa kaifa kana nakeel. Then I seized the ones who disbelieved, and how terrible was my reproach. Then I seized those who disbelieved. Just recall what was our punishment and denial to them. فَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ أَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ ثَمَرَاتٍ مُخْتَلِفًا أَلْوَانُهَا وَمِنَ الْجِبَالِ جُدَدٌ بِيضٌ وَحُمْرٌ مُخْتَلِفٌ أَلْوَانُهَا وَغَرَابِي بُسُودٌ do you not see that Allah sends down rain from the sky and we produce thereby fruits of varying colors? And in the mountains are tracts, white and red of varying shades, and some extremely black. Have you not seen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends down water from this heaven? And then we bring forth from the earth with this water, the fruits who have different colors, the same land, now the oranges have different colors, something else in Florida, these are the dates, <laughs> they are different in size, shape, color, taste, 
But the land is the same, water is the same. وَمِنَ الْجِبَالِ جُدَدٌ بِيزٌ And among the mountains you will see, there are streaks. There are streaks white in color. وَحُمْرٌ And red. مُخْتَلِفًا الْرَوَانُهَا Streaks of different colors. وَغَرَابِ بُسُودٌ And some of these streaks are so black as the color of the cross. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ وَالدَّوَابِّ وَالْأَنْعَامِ مُخْتَلِفٌ أَلْوَانُهُ كَذَلِكَ إِنَّمَا يَخْشَى اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ غَفُورٌ And among people and moving creatures, and grazing livestock are various colors similarly. Only those fear Allah from among his servants who have knowledge. Indeed, Allah is exalted in might and forgiving. And in the same way, from among the mankind and the animals, and the cattle, their colors are also different. The Africans, the Europeans, the Chinese, the yellow masses of the east, according to De Gaulle, beware of the yellow masses of the east. So, Allah has created all men, but they have different colors. In the same way, in the same way, in the same way, verily, only those bondsmen of Allah have real fear of Allah, who have knowledge. Now this knowledge, knowledge of this universe, a very beautiful saying of Dr. Afyuddin, he used to say, this universe is the work of God. He has created it. He is working it. He is controlling it. He is running it. So what it is? It is the work of God. And what is this book? This is the word of God. There can be no contradiction between Quran and the universe. If there appears to be some contradiction, here our understanding has failed. <coughs> the former Mufassirin, they didn't have this knowledge. The knowledge that we have today, explosion of knowledge in all fields. Now we can better appreciate Quran. We can have a better consciousness <coughs> of how mighty Allah is. Maybe a few hundred years back, people might have thought this sky is about 10 miles from this, this earth. That would have been their assessment. But what than that? What do we know today? These galaxies, the difference in the distances between the galaxies. Within the galaxy, the distances between the stars. Unimaginable. For a layman, these things are unimaginable. Only for those who, know, who study this astronomy as a subject, they can have some idea that we should stagger when we, when we see the figures. This value raised to the power 30. Now you can't imagine what it, what it will become, you know, when it is raised to the power 30, raised to the power 80. So, But what has happened, you know, this is the calamity or Unfortunate, I should say, that today, despite all this knowledge, the scientists are away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because they have closed one eye. They never turn to the scriptures. They never read the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are seeing in a microscope. What are they seeing? You cannot see that. That a scientist is seeing in the microscope. What they are seeing in the telescope, I and you might not have any chance in the life to see that. What they are seeing in the telescope, they are seeing everything except Allah. They can't see Allah. This is the tragedy of modern times. And this is actually the fitna of Dajjal. Dajjal is one eye. What does it mean? Allah gave us two eyes to look. One is the word of Allah. The other 
to see the work of Allah. Now we are engaged in seeing the work of Allah, but we have closed the other eye, the word of Allah. And this is the jai. And we have that fitna before us. إِنَّمَا يَخْشَ اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيدٌ غَفُورٌ Very li Allah is Almighty and forgiving. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَتْلُونَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَأَنْفَقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً يَرْجُونَ يرجون تجارة لن تبور. Indeed, those who recite the book of Allah and establish prayer and spend in his cause out of what we have provided them, secretly and publicly, can expect a prophet that will never perish. إن الذين يتلون كتاب الله وأقاموا الصلاة وأنفقوا أنفقوا بما رزقناه سرا وعلانية يَرْجُونَ تِجَارَةً لَنْ تَبُورَ Verily, those who recite the book of Allah, establish the prayers, and spend from whatever we have given them, in secret, as well as openly, they are the people who are hoping a good commerce with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is not going to perish. Now this is tijara, يَرْجُونَ تِجَارَةً this deed will Allah has been termed a tijara. And you must be remembering, some of you at least, that this word comes in Surah Al-Saf. Ya ayu al-lazeen amanu hal adullukum ala tijaratin tunjikum min adhabin ali. Oh, you who believe, should I lead you to a tijara, to a bargain, to a commerce, to a trade, the profit of which will be that he will be delivered from the fire of hell. In the same way we have in Surah Al-Tawbah, إِنَّ اللَّهَ اشْتَرَى مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ أَنفُسَمْ وَمَالَمْ بِأَنَّ لَهُمُ الْجَنَّةِ Allah has actually, He has bought from the believers their lives as well as their wealth and properties in exchange for Jannah. So this term is used many a times. It's also a trade, a bargain. You are trading here and you want to get some gain. In the same way, this deen is also a trade. But the gain is going to be in the hereafter. It's very big gain. Which you cannot imagine even. لِيُوَفِّيَهُمْ أُجُورَهُمْ وَيَزِيدَهُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ إِنَّهُ غَفُورٌ شَكُورٌ that he may give them in full their rewards and increase for them of his bounty. Indeed, he is forgiving and appreciative. So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them in full their wages by Yazidahum in Fadli and adds and add to them from his bounty. Well, wage has to be calculated from the labor that we have done. It will be calculated. But the fuzzle of Allah, bounty of Allah, it is not to be calculated by anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give whatsoever He likes. جَرْزُقُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابُ إِنَّهُ غَفُورٌ شَكُورٌ Verily, He is the forgiver. <coughs> and He is forbearing and appreciating. Whatever you do for Him, He appreciates. This is shukr from Allah. This shukr is used from both sides. We should thank Allah. This is shukr that Allah has given us these bounties. Allah thanks us. How? He appreciates. My bondsman has done this for me. He has given so much of his property for my cause, for my deen. He has dedicated his life for my for my book. Dedicated himself to understanding my book and spreading the knowledge and wisdom of my book. So Allah appreciates. This is the shukr from Allah. He is also shakur. And we are also shakur. But the connotation would differ. 
وَالَّذِي أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ هُوَ الْحَقُّ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بِعِبَادِهِ لَخَبِيرٌ بَصِيرٌ And that which we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, of the book is truth, confirming what was before it. Indeed, Allah of his servants is acquainted and seeing. And whatever we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, from the book, it is absolutely truth. It confirms that which is already present before it, Torah and Injil. In Allah bi'ibadihi laqabirun basir. Verily, Allah for, the, for His bondsmen is aware and surely seer. ثم أورثنا الكتاب الذين اصطفينا من عبادنا فمنهم ظالم لنفسه ومنهم مقتصد ومنهم سابق بالخيرات بإذن الله ذلك هو الفضل الكبير Then we cause to inherit the book those we have chosen of our servants and among them is he who wrongs himself and among them is he who is moderate and among them is he who is foremost in good deeds by permission of Allah. That inheritance is what is the great bounty. Then we inherited the book to the people whom we have chosen. Moses given Torah after him who inherited the book. The children of Israel, the Ummah. Quran given to whom? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But who inherited the book? The Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now Allah says, among those who inherit the books from the messengers of Allah, there are three types of people. <coughs> Some of them are who do wrongs to themselves. Don't care for the book. Don't read it. But to speak of conveying it to others, they themselves not reading. So they are doing good and harm, they are doing bad and harm to themselves. For in whom muktasid. And among them are some who are in the middle, do some good deeds also, but along with that the bad deeds also. Both ways. For in whom sabiqum bil khairat. And some of them are those who outstep and who are very far ahead in virtues and in good. You know, there might be one who dedicates his full life for this. He is sabiqum bil khairat. He has outstripped others, outstepped others. Zalika huwal fadlul kabir. This is the biggest bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include us in the third category. There's no harm in praying to Allah. Oh, Allah include us in them. Jannatu adni yadkhulunaha yuhallawna fiha min asawira min zahabin wa lu'lu'a wa libasuhum fiha harir For them are gardens of perpetual residence which they will enter. They will be adorned therein with bracelets of gold and pearls, and their garments therein will be silk. Jannatu Adnin, for them there will be the gardens of bliss and perpetuity, yadkhulunaha, they will live there forever. Yuhallawna fiha min asabira min zahabin wa luluha, and they will be adorned in that place with bracelets of gold and pearls. Wa libasu fiha harir. And their robes in Jannah will be from silk. قالوا الحمد لله الذي أذهب عن الحزن 
إن ربنا لغفور شكور. And they will say, Praise to Allah who has removed from us all sorrow. Indeed, our Lord is forgiving and appreciative. وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي أَصْحَبَ عَنُ الْعَزَمْ And they will say then, All praise be to Allah, who has removed all grief from us. Now nothing to grieve, nothing to fear. We have entered this total peace, Jannah. وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي أَصْحَبَ عَنُ الْحَزَمْ In the Rabbana لَغَفُورُ شَكُورُ Verily our Lord is forgiving and appreciating. الذي أحلنا دار المقامة من فضله لا يمسنا فيها نصب ولا يمسنا فيها لغوب. He who has settled us in the home of duration out of his bounty, there touches us not in it any fatigue, and there touches us not in it weariness of mind. الذي أهلنا دار المقامة من فضله، who he who has out of his bounty made us dwell in the everlasting abode، لا يمسنا فيها نصب ولا يمسنا فيها لغوب. In this jannah, now no toil will touch us، no weariness will touch us. والذين كفروا لهم نار جهن and for those who disbelieve will be the fire of hell. Death is not decreed for them, so they may die, nor will its torment be lightened for them. Thus do we recompense every ungrateful one. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا Now, in the contrast, as for those who disbelieved, لَهُمْ نَعْرُوا جَهَنَّمْ For them will be the fire of hell. لَا يُقْزَى عَلَيْهِمْ For them, it shall not be done with them that it has come to an end. They will not have any death so that they are free from the... Chastisement. Fayamutu. There can be no death for them. Wala yukhafaf. Anhum min azabiha. And also the chastisement of the hell will not be decreased or lightened for them. Kadalika najji kulla kafur. In this way, we reward every ungrateful being. هم يصطرخون فيها ربنا أخرجنا نعمل صالحا غير الذي كنا نعمل أولم نعمركم ما يتذكر فيه من تذكر وجاءكم النذير فَذُوقُوا فَمَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ مِنْ نَصِيرٍ And they will cry out therein, Our Lord, remove us. We will do righteousness, other than what we were doing. But did we not grant you life enough for whoever would remember therein to remember? And the warner had come to you? So taste the punishment. For there is not for the wrongdoers any helper. And they will be crying there in, in that hell. And saying, Rabbana Akhridna. And they'll be saying, Oh our Lord, please take out us, us take us out from here. Naam al Saleh, and we promise. Now we shall do good deeds. Not those which we have been doing. Awalam Nuamirkum. Didn't we give you a long life in the world? Whosoever had admonition and reminding they had during that life. And you wasted your life. And a warner also came to you. Now don't address me and taste. 
is no helper for these evil doers. In Allah, Alim Ghayb Al-Samawat Wal-Ard. Innahu Alim Bithat Al-Sudur. Indeed, Allah is knower of the unseen aspects of the heavens and earth. Indeed, He is knowing of that within the breasts. Inna Allah Alim Ghayb Al-Samawat Wal-Ard. Verily Allah knows all the unseen of the heavens and the earth. Innahu alimun bizaati sudur. Verily he knows whatever is in the hearts of the Hulladhi ja'alakum khalaifa fil ard Faman kafara fa'alayhi kufruh Wala yazidu al-kafirina kufruhum inda rabbihim illa maqta وَلَا يَزِيدُ الْكَافِرِينَ كُفْرُهُمْ إِلَّا خَسَارًا It is he who has made you successors upon the earth, and whoever disbelieves, upon him will be the consequence of his disbelief. And the disbelief of the disbelievers does not increase them in the sight of their Lord except in hatred, and the disbelief of the disbelievers does not increase them except in loss. It is he that has made you successors in this world. Some other people were living here. They died. Now you are living. Generation after generation. Generation succeeding the other. Whosoever disbelieves and rejects the faith, well, the punishment of that will come to him. وَلَا يَزِيدُ الْكَافِرِينَ كُفْرُهُمْ إِنْ دَرَبِّهِمْ إِلَّا مَقْتَى and for these disbelievers, their disbelief will not increase except the wrath of their Lord. And this disbelief of these disbelievers will not add for them but loss. قُلْ أَرَأَيْتُمْ شُرَكَاءَكُمُ الَّذِينَ تَدْعُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ أَرُونِي مَاذَا خَلَقُوا مِنَ الْأَرْضِ أَمْ لَهُمْ شِرْكٌ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ أَمْ لَهُمْ شِرْكٌ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ أَمْ آتَيْنَاهُمْ كِتَابًا فَهُمْ عَلَى بَيِّنَةٍ مِّنْهِ بَلْ إِنْ يَعِدُ الظَّالِمُونَ بَعْضُهُمْ بَعْضًا إِلَّا غُرُورًا Say, have you considered your partners whom you invoke besides Allah? Show me what they have created from the earth, or have they partnership with him in the heavens? Or have we given them a book, so they are standing on evidence therefrom? No, rather the wrongdoers do not promise each other except delusion. <laughs> Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, have you ever thought and considered about those deities whom you call upon besides Allah? Aruni maza khalaku min al ard. Show me what they have created in this world, in this earth. Am lahum shirkun fi samawat. Or do you think they have any partnership with Allah in the heavens? Am atainahum kitaban fahum hala bayyati minhu. Have we given them some scripture, some book, and they are on a ground, on an argument of that book. بَلْ إِنْ يَعِدُ الظَّوَارِمُونَ بَعْضُهُمْ بَعْضًا إِلَّا غُرُورًا But actually these evildoers promise each other delusions and deceits. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُمْسِكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ أَنْ تَزُولًا وَلَئِنْ زَالَتَا إِنْ أَمْسَكَهُمَا مِنْ أَحَدٍ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ حَلِيمًا غَفُورًا Indeed, Allah holds the heavens and the earth, lest they cease. And if they should cease, no one could hold them in place after him. 
Indeed, he is forbearing and forgiving. Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala holds the heavens and the earth, lest they should move from their positions. And if they actually move from their positions, what will happen to the universe? You can imagine. You know, all these big bodies will be colliding with each other. In Amsakahuma min ahadim min badihi, if they, they change their position, nobody can stop them from doing it except Allah. Inna hu kana halim and ghafura, verily he is forbearing, forgiving. وَأَقْسَمُوا بِاللَّهِ جَهْدَ أَيْمَانِهِمْ لَإِنْ جَاءَهُمْ نَذِيرٌ لَيَكُونُنَّ أَهْدَى مِنْ إِحْدَى الْأُمَمِ فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ نَذِيرٌ مَا زَادَهُمْ إِلَّا نُفُورًا And they swore by Allah their strongest oaths that if a warner came to them, they would be more guided than any one of the previous nations. But when a warner came to them, it did not increase them except in aversion. And they swore by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to their most earnest oaths. If some warner comes to us, then we shall become most rightly guided people than any other rightly guided people of the world. They used to swear. But, فَلَمَّا جَاهُمْ نَذِيرٌ When a warner has come to them, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, مَا زَادَهُمْ إِلَّا نُفُورًا Now there is nothing increasing in them except aversion. اِسْتِكْبَارًا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَمَكْرَ السَّيِّئِ وَلَا يَحِيقُ الْمَكْرُ السَّيِّئُ إِلَّا بِأَهْلِهِ فَهَلْ يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَّا سُنَّةَ الْأَوَّلِينَ فَلَنْ تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَبْدِيلًا وَلَنْ تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَحْوِيلًا due to arrogance in the land and plotting of evil. But the evil plot does not encompass except its own people. Then do they await except the way of the former peoples? But you will never find in the way of Allah any change. And you will never find in the way of Allah any alteration. This and arrogance in, the, in this world, and evil designing, they are planning how to stop this da'wah of Muhammad from spreading. But this evil devising and planning, it encompasses only the one who is planning it. They are not waiting for anything except the fate of the ancients. What happened to Ad and Samud? They are waiting for the same fate. فَلَنْ تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَبْدِيلًا You will never find any change in the practices of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rules, regulations of Allah. وَلَنْ تَجِدَ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَحْوِيلًا And you won't find any turning off in the sunnah. أَوَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَيَنْظُرُوا كَيْفَ كَانَ عَاقِبَةُ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ وَكَانُوا أشد منهم قوة وما كان الله ليعجزه من شيء في السماوات ولا في الأرض إنه كان عليما قديرا Have they not traveled through the land and observed how was the end of those before them? and they were greater than them in power. But Allah is not to be caused failure by anything in the heavens or on the earth. Indeed, He is ever-knowing and competent. Have they not traveled in the land and seen what had been the end of those people 
who were before them. But Kanu Ashadda bin Humkuvatan, they were more powerful than them, than these Quraysh, Ad and Samud. These two nations of the Arabian Peninsula were very great nations. But Allah is not such that anything can defeat him, neither in this land, earth, nor in the heavens. He knows everything and he is all power. وَلَوْ يُؤَاخِذُ اللَّهُ النَّاسَ بِمَا كَسَبُوا مَا تَرَكَ عَلَى ظَهْرِهَا مِنْ دَابَّةٍ وَلَكِنْ يُؤَخِّرُهُمْ وَلَكِنْ يُؤَخِّرُهُمْ إِلَى أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّى فَإِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلُهُمْ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ بِعِبَادِهِ بَصِيرًا And if Allah were to impose blame on the people for what they have earned, He would not leave upon the earth any creature, but He defers them for a specified term. And when their time comes, then indeed Allah has ever been of His servants seeing. وَلَوْ يُعَخِذُ اللَّهُ النَّاسَ بِمَا كَسَبُوا مَا تَرَكَ عَلَى ظَهْرِهَا مِنْ دَابَّةِ And if Allah was to hasten and seize the evildoers immediately, then He would not have left a living creature on this earth. If He seizes, punishes immediately, you are finished. So Allah gives, you know, He gives the spite. وَلَكِنْ يُعَخِّرُهُمْ إِلَىٰ أَجَلِ الْمُسَمَّةِ Allah doesn't punish immediately. He gives them the spite. Till a time which is fixed for every nation. ajal. For every community, there is a fixed term. When the fixed time will come for them. basira. Then verily Allah is seeing His servants and He will deal with them accordingly.